What's going on, people? Today we're going to talk about why and how Coach Prime is out recruiting a lot of these head coaches out here and why he's not finished. But first, let's look at some facts because the proof is in the pudding. In 2022 transfer rankings, Colorado was number 78. With Prime, they have become number four. The overall ranking in their recruiting has brought them from 58 to number 21. Man, we're not done. This is just a, a pause. This is just a comma. Because there's a lot of people that's going to bungee jump in their portal after spring because they're going to be disappointed in the playing time and the commitment or the level of participation that they're garnishing. And we're going to take full advantage of that. So we're not done. This is just a comma for spring. But I love where we are. And he has good reason to love where they are. I mean, but let's let's just talk about this for a minute. You know, how did they get to where they are now? Let's get into what it is in particular that Coach Prime does better than other coaches when it comes to recruiting. But before we even get into Coach Prime's individual strategies and attributes that make him so uh, deadly as a recruiter, we need to take note of one thing that he did that was a genius move on his behalf. Before Coach Prime even started recruiting in Colorado, he recruited the number one ranked recruiting coach in college football, who is Charles Kelly. Folks, I don't know if you know how significant that is or not, but just know that he went out and recruited the top recruiter in college football, and he got him from Alabama. Let's look a little bit deeper into what really makes Coach Prime stand apart from these other recruiters. First up, in this day and age, you need to be able to navigate social media. Coach Prime is doing more than navigating. He's dominating. If you go and check out his tweets, you'll see all types of athletes responding to his, who wants to change the game with me? I ain't hard to find. He's out here scooping up recruits on Twitter, guys. These coaches are going to have to keep up with the times to keep up with Coach Prime. While this is effective, let's look at number two. Coach Prime excels at utilizing and leveraging his relationships with celebrities. I'm talking about icons from the younger generation like Lil Wayne to the uh, generation of the these players' parents like Uncle Luke. And I can hear people saying, that doesn't mean anything. Well, maybe not to you, but what about Juju Johnson from Louisiana? You think he liked Lil Wayne? As a Louisiana native, I'm sure Juju listened to Lil Wayne, one of the greatest artists to come out of Louisiana. And what about Uncle Luke from Miami? Uh, he's probably a little before the time of Kamani McLean, but I'm pretty sure Moms knows him. Uncle Luke is not only an icon when it comes to music, but also football in the Florida A. Luke has his finger on the pulse of youth football in Florida, and he's definitely a great ally to have when it comes to recruiting in that area. Number three. Went from tank top to tie. Oh, I love wow. that. You know what? <laughs> Dion is here scouting. You're yeah. starting. You guys heard that, right? He said, Dion, you're here scouting. Dion is on major platforms across the nation, and everywhere he goes, he's in a opportune place to seek out talent and to leverage his platform to find that talent. Check this out. I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to recruit. <laughs> I got the Boses, the Watt, Jerry said I could borrow the star, Jimmy said he's going to help me out. I need all your cousins, your mom and them, your nephews, send them right to Colorado. We good? Yo, he's at the NFL honors event where they actually announced the new Hall of Fame inductees. And he's taking the time to actually recruit. People think it's a joke, but I guarantee you, Dion is dead serious. And he's using every platform that is made available to him to attempt to draw attention to his program and also uh, let people know the company that he keeps, you know, this is where these players are striving to be ultimately is become Hall of Famers. Number four, and this is a big one. This is something that can't be replicated. And this has to do with Prime just being Prime. Wherever he goes, you know, cameras are going to follow. Exposure is going to come. And, you know, one of the things that he did when he first 
came to Colorado is he walked in to the theme music, All Eyes on Me. And, you know, that's a fitting song because, you know, wherever he goes, exposure is going to follow. I mean, Coach Prime could quite literally walk into a house and say, come play for me. I'll make you famous. And he could be telling the truth because the added exposure that comes with playing for him is unlike what any other head coach can offer. I mean, think about it. He's coming fresh from JSU where they actually did an Amazon special on his school and on his players. They gained a notoriety that they wouldn't have gained otherwise. So if he came to you and said, come be part of the greatest show on earth, he wouldn't be stretching the truth. But all he is saying is, come be part of something special. And a lot of athletes are taking him up on his offer. And as he said, he's not finished. But before I hit my last point, check this out. I want you to get ready to start seeing cameras because we film documentaries. Matter of fact, we have our doc drops. What's the date? December 15th. And this is going to be part of it. So we have a documentary. So the kids, they want exposure. They want to be on television. They want the lights and the action. But they got to understand the same thing that causes you to shine will show your blemishes as well. So we're going to give them that. We're going to give them the followers. We're going to give them the attention. We're going to give them the love. We're going to give them the support. And we need each and every one of you. For my fifth and final point, we need to go all the way to Detroit and check out this guy right here, James Houston, who as a rookie came in midseason, broke the NFL record recording eight sacks in his first six games. And where was he drafted from? You guessed it, JSU with Coach Prime. And now another former player developed by Coach Prime has entered the draft. Former JSU linebacker Arby Miller has been in the news impressing NFL scouts, which leads us to the last point. I'm not crazy about the NILs, but I understand the NILs. But I would rather our kids be focused on the NFL and not just the NIL. As was his goal in Jackson State, Coach Prime is trying to develop these guys for the next level. And he's trying to get them to focus on the main thing. Let the main thing be the main thing. And that is important for these new recruits. Having been in their shoes as a player, Coach Prime offers a first-hand knowledge of what it takes to get there. So what really makes him dangerous as a recruiter is his unique perspective on football and what it takes to get to the next level. But come on, people. We all know that not everyone has the talent to make it to the next level. And Coach Prime knows this, too. So he's trying to equip these young men to become professionals in life. Uh, to be great, successful young men. And so he surrounds them with opportunities and connections and networking like no other. And he's equipping these guys to be professional and to succeed in all avenues of life. Whether it be on the field, on the boardroom with a Fortune 500 club, Coach Prime has the connections to help. And as a parent myself, I know how important that is. You add this to everything that I mentioned before, and you see why Coach Prime is killing it. That's going to do us for this one, guys. I want to thank y'all for tuning in and subscribing. I appreciate every one of y'all. And if y'all have anything that y'all want me to do a video on, y'all let me know in the comments. And I'll see if I can make it happen. Peace.